Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am sharing with you all my best of in skincare for the year 2020. And boy was this a year. Before we begin with today's video, I'd love to welcome all of those who have recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome. My name is Nadia and I am a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have yet to subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you are notified when there is a brand new upload. I will start with uh, cleansers here. I do have the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup melt away cleansing balm. This is quite possibly the only balmy cleanser that I uh, used religiously this year. If I've had a stressful day, I loved how this opened up my skincare routine. I love how it just melts the makeup off the skin and how it emulsifies. I also like the fact that, that it does not dry out my skin or further break me out. And I love that this does contain uh, papaya enzymes here. My second favorite uh, cleanser and this is a new unit, uh, but this is the Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. This is a 2020 release, and I just absolutely adored this cleanser. I used this daily um, after working out to remove any dirt, sweat, grime, debris, or SPF. I also used it as my second cleanser after going in with the Pharmacy Green Clean. And I absolutely love how gentle this is. I love how it lathers and how it does not dry my skin at all. I just love how my skin feels balanced after use. Um, I love the glass packaging as well, and I do feel that one pump of this is enough. If you use one pump too many, it may uh, become a little bit difficult to remove, or it will just lather up too much, so I feel like just one pump is enough. Add a little water, work it over the skin, and you are good to go. Uh, next up, I do have the Drunk Elephant Best Number 9 Jelly Cleanser. Now, this is a repeat. This was in my best of in 2017, 2018, and 2019. Um, after I emptied my first unit of the Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel, um, I had to dip into this new unit. So I picked it up because this, this little guy was in transit. I love that this is gentle, it's non-drying, and it's effective. If you are looking for a dupe, say for example, you just you know, don't have it within your means to spend $28 for this. This is a very, very uh, budget-friendly dupe. For exfoliating cleansers, I do have another Good Molecules product, and this is the Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. My skin can be a little finicky with physical exfoliant, so when I received Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Cleanser, I knew that I just had to to try it ASAP. I definitely prefer to use this in the shower as I typically take warm showers. I don't know if you are the same, but I love a warm shower. Enzymes are typically activated by steam. In the shower, I take about a nickel-sized amount, drop a few drops of water into the uh, powder, work it into a lather, and then apply it all over the skin. Now, if there is not a lot of like lather or bubbles, I will just let it sit over the skin for about a minute and then I will rinse it off. Each time I use this I feel like I have glass skin and I absolutely love it. Sometimes if you just have a lot of uh, cell buildup you'll feel kind of grimy and you'll have some rough texture over the skin and I feel like this does a pretty good job at dealing with that texture. If you do need a physical exfoliation, uh, one of my favorites this year was the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Power Scrub. Um, now I didn't try a ton of exfoliating or at 
least physically exfoliating cleansers, but this one I absolutely loved. And although I normally dock points for fragrance during my reviews, I find the scent in this just absolutely refreshing. Because it is a wash-off product, I don't really mind the fragrance as well. I typically reach for this in the morning part of my routine after, say for example, working out, using my rose water daily cleansing gel. Then I'll use about, I want to say a dime size amount of this and I'll work it over the skin. I do again prefer to use this in the shower because this does have a number of different sized and different colored beads. I feel like a little bit definitely goes a long way, but it is definitely a lot easier to remove in the shower. Each time I use this, my skin feels smoother. I did film a review on this particular product earlier this year, so I will be sure to list uh, that review down below in case you would like to check it out. This will not come as a surprise to anyone, uh, but this is a repeat as well. This is the Murad Hydrating Toner. Now, this is a fresh unit. I am using the Peter Thomas Roth Hyaluronic Hydrating Toner, uh, but I have this that I recently hauled. Um, this toner has been a favorite of mine for years, well before I started filming videos here on YouTube and well before I became an esthetician. Although we didn't go to Coachella this year or do much traveling this year at all, this is my go-to for travels as I can trust it to hydrate my skin no matter the climate. I do use this daily after cleansing the skin or before I mask, uh, but my skin absolutely adores this toner. Next up, I have a 2020 release. This is the Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner with Moringa and Papaya. So this toner is formulated with 2% salicylic acid to deep clean pores, draw out excess oil, and improve texture. We also see a papaya enzyme to gently exfoliate and clarify the complexion. I used this toner a lot during summer because my skin tends to feel a little bit more oily during warmer months. I would take a bit of this toner on a cotton round and then gently apply it over the skin and then I would follow it with the uh, Daily Greens moisturizer during my nighttime routine whenever I had a like lazy uh, nighttime routine. I feel like my lazy routines tend to happen more or less during the summertime. And then during winter, I get into like skincare funks. Whenever I used this combo here, my skin would wake up clearer, brighter, and smoother. This is definitely more combo and oily skin friendly, but anyone who suffers from breakouts will definitely benefit from a toner such as this. I filmed a review on this particular product, so I will be sure to link that down below uh, for you in case you'd like to check it out. Next up, I do have the Murad Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum. I feel like this is the product of the year for me. I absolutely adored what this serum did for my skin. I feel like this literally transformed my skin's texture and helped to even my tone. I thoroughly enjoyed using this serum during the day um, as this can be used both morning and and evening. Because it contains glycolic acid, I made sure to follow it with an SPF. Glycolic acid is the second ingredient in the ingredients list, but we also see tetrahexyldesyl sorbit, and we also see ascorbic acid to help even tone, stimulate collagen synthesis, and neutralize environmental damage. This gives my skin the glow that I look for in vitamin C serums. I have recently received the Murad Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum, which I will be testing soon. So I'm very curious as to what that serum can do for the skin 
in comparison to this. Since formula wise, they do share some similarities. I filmed a review on this particular product earlier this year, so I will be sure to list it down below in case you would like to check it out. Next up, I have the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. Um, uneven tone is one of my main skincare concerns. I really enjoyed using the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum during the day. This formula does contain niacinamide, which helps to further brighten and treat my larger pores. The brightening ingredient here, tranexamic acid, a more, is a more stable form of vitamin C. Priced at $12, this is a budget-friendly, results-driven brightening serum. I did film a review on this particular product as well, so I will be sure to link it down below in case you would like to check it out. Uh, next up, I do have the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Serum. Um, I did test a number of retinol-based serums this year, and this was one of my favorites. I loved that it did not irritate or dry my skin out too much. I did not experience any flaking, any redness, or irritation from using this particular serum. I loved that I could follow it with the Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum or Peter Thomas Roth uh, Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Serum to either treat my growing pores or further plump and hydrate the skin. No matter what I combined um, this serum with, it worked beautifully. This does contain Murad's retinol triactive technology, Swarsha flower extract, and hyaluronic acid. I did film a review on this particular product earlier in the year, so if you would like to learn a little bit more about this product, I will link it down below for you. Next up, I have the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. Now, this is not a 2020 launch, but I really, really enjoyed a Pharmacy's Honeymoon Glow. This was was uh, my go-to when stress got the best of me and breakouts ruled my chin. I also reached for this a week before or on the week of my cycle to minimize the severity of my hormonal breakouts. I love using uh, two pumps of this serum and I apply it all over the face and I do bring it down to the neck and the chest. And I do prefer using this particular serum during my nighttime routine. I feel like I wake up with clearer, smoother, brighter skin each time uh, I use this particular serum. This is is the perfect serum for my combo oily or acne prone friends who are also concerned with tone and texture. Now on to acid blends. Um, I have two big winners in this category. Um, you may use both of these either as a toner or as your nighttime serum. Um, that's why I didn't include both of these in either the toner or the serum category. First, I will start with the Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength 10% PHA Exfoliating Clarifying Liquid. Now, this is a lovely results-driven product uh, that contains gluconolactone, glycolic acid, and salicylic acid. I used this as my toner on some evenings or as a serum on other evenings. This clarifying liquid minimized breakouts. It improved my skin texture and it also um, helped my skin to look brighter. Um, I definitely experienced um, a bit of a tingle when I initially introduced this product to the skin, but after a while, my skin felt absolutely fine. If you suffer from, say for example, breakouts, congestion, enlarged pores, or uneven texture, I highly, highly recommend this product. I did film a uh, review on this particular product, so if you would like to learn a little bit more about her, I will list that link down below for you. Next up, I do have the Summer Fridays Soft Reset AHA Exfoliating Solution. This is quite possibly my uh, second most favorite product of 2020. Um, I woke up with the ultimate 
glow. The day after um, I introduced uh, this during my nighttime skincare routine, I have used this with and without a cotton round. And I find that when I use it with a cotton round, I waste more product. So I have gone back to just using it with my hands or my fingers. When I first introduced Summer Friday's Soft Reset to the skin, I did experience a tingle. I felt like she was very, very spicy when I first used it, but now it's not tingly at all. I do absolutely prefer using this product with uh, the palms of my hand uh, during my nighttime routine. I do apply a very thin layer of this and sometimes I will follow it with a peptide rich serum or with my niacinamide serum. Uh, this is formulated with lactic acid, niacinamide, and glycolic acid to smooth, minimize the signs of aging, and even tone. I'd recommend this to anyone concerned with uneven texture, the signs of aging, and uneven tone. Whereas the PHA exfoliating clarifying solution is definitely targeted more towards congested and acne prone skin. I also filmed a review on this product so I will also link her down below if you would like to have a look at the review. Pharmacy's Daily Greens. Now this was a 2020 release as well. This was my go-to uh, during summertime when I just could not think of an extensive uh, nighttime skincare routine. As I mentioned earlier first I would go in with deep sweep and then I would follow it with this moisturizer and that's it we're ready for bed. I uh, paired Paired those two together to treat pores, minimize breakouts, and manage oil production as well. It was the perfect combo. I also filmed a review of this particular uh, moisturizer, so I will link that down below for you. Uh, next up, I do have the Murad Nutrient Charged Water Gel. Um, now, this is a repeat of 2018 and 2019. So she has been in my life since her release. Clearly, I love uh, gel-based moisturizers. Um, this has been a favorite of mine for years. And I can use this moisturizer during my morning routine, during my nighttime routine. I just love that it contains five minerals, five vitamins, and five peptides to strengthen your protective barrier, minimize the signs of aging, and also hydrate plump smooth the skin. It literally plumps and smooths the skin almost immediately. So this is a favorite of mine despite the fragrance. Uh, next up I have another Murad product. Now this is also a 2020 release. This is the Murad Clarifying Oil Free Water Gel. This is uh, perfect for my oily acne prone friends. This is an excellent lightweight formula. I love, love that this contains salicylic acid, hyaluronic acid, and ginger root extract. Um, I reached for this a lot as well during the summer, primarily, however, during my morning routine. I loved using it during my morning routine to help exfoliate, minimize breakouts, smooth and plump the skin. I also filmed a review on this particular product, so I will also link her down below in case you would like to learn a little bit more about the uh, Murad Clarifying Oil-Free Water Gel. Next up, I have an oldie but a goodie. This is a Drunk Elephant's Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This is, again, probably a repeat, but I have been enjoying this formula a lot this winter. I just cannot, cannot put this down. And last, but certainly not least, in the moisturizer category, I do have uh, Pharmacy's Honey Halo. Ugh. This is like a velvety, buttery, rich, rich cream. This is for my dry skinned friend or for those nursing perhaps an impaired skin barrier. This is the richest moisturizer in my collection. I love that this rich, creamy moisturizer is not sticky at 
all, and it contains ceramides, which help to replenish the skin. I also filmed a review on this moisturizer, which I will link down below in case you would like to learn a little bit more about her. And next up, I do have treatment moisturizers. I only have a one in this category, and that is the Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength Niacinamide Discoloration Treatment. I tested this treatment moisturizer earlier this year and I felt as if it did an excellent job at treating my uneven tone. This product did not break me out at all and it did not further congest my skin. Um, I definitely preferred uh, using this treatment moisturizer during the day. I did make sure to just apply it to the face. I don't notice any discoloration here along the neck or chest. The texture in this treatment moisturizer is so light that I could layer this under my SPF. I did, however, have to be careful with what I used at night because if I went in with like harsh exfoliating products at night, I did find this product to be a little too drying on the skin. So I know that with melanogenesis inhibitors, um, you do have to be consistent with your use. So I would sometimes have to take a day off from using this particular product because if I went in with a harsh acid blend at night, it would just be too, too drying on the skin. This is definitely loaded with the best melanogenesis inhibitors, so consistency is definitely key with this particular product. So you have to either use this daily or nightly to see uh, results. I did also film a review on this particular product, so I will list her down below. But now on to SPFs. This is going to be easy, easy peasy for me. I know that this SPF and I had a, a rough start because I initially received this in a Hum Nutrition box shipment and initially I thought that this was too sticky over the skin. But after a while, I found that she was moisturizing and I just fell in love with the product that I ordered a full, full size. And this is gigantic. Like it's literally almost the size of my hand. So now I use this during my morning workouts. And then for just regular everyday use, I have been reaching a lot for the Pharmacy Green Defense. Um, I have used this and loved this for many, many years. This is my go-to for everyday wear. This wears absolutely beautifully under makeup or even when I don't wear makeup and it is a mineral or a physical sunscreen. So this makes it perfect for my sensitive skinned friends. And then I also uh, wanna, wanted to chat about the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic uh, hydrating moisturizer. This has an SPF of 45. Now I don't have the unit anymore because I um, used her up really, really fast. Um, I used that sunscreen a lot during um, summer and I also used it uh, for my morning workouts and I just loved how hydrating it was. It was not sticky and it did not leave a white cast. It literally melted onto the skin after application and that is a chemical sunscreen. For eye serum as well, I don't have the unit with me because I've already used it up but it is the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye serum that has been a favorite of mine for years and years. Um, it works beautifully under a ton of different eye creams which I have tested and I feel as if you are concerned with fine lines and wrinkles that is an excellent excellent serum to try. For lips I do have the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. Now this is a recent find but I'm obsessed. This may be my go-to going forward. I just love how this moisturizes the lips and I love using this both morning and evening or just anytime really. Uh, my lips need moisture. Now on to masks. I do have the Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength Lactic Pore Treatment. 
and I love, love pairing that with the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold mask. For improved tone and texture, pores, fine lines, and wrinkles, I reach for this combo. Uh, the lactic pore treatment can be a little spicy, but it does a really, really good job at exfoliating the skin in about two to three minutes. Results can often last about three to four days and then you know it's time to repeat the treatment. But I do enjoy following that with this lovely, lovely mask because it hydrates the skin and lifts the skin, albeit temporarily, but it does the trick. Next, I have this combo here, the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial and the Drunk Elephant F-Balm Electrolyte Water Facial. I like using this combo when I have more than uh, two to three minutes to mask. This is definitely an intense uh, exfoliating and hydrating uh, combo, but it also takes time to achieve these results. F-Balm is an overnight mask, but I feel as if I have achieved far better results by using this as a standalone mask. Next up, I do have an eye cream. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrating Eye Gel. Now, I love Peter Thomas Roth water drench range so, so much. And I can't believe I slept on this eye cream for so long. I got this as part of PR a while ago and I just let it sit there for a few months to collect dust. And after I emptied out uh, another uh, two eye creams, I decided to give this eye cream a shot and oh my God, it gave me a hydrated, plumber under eye area. It's hydrogel eye patch results in the form of an eye cream. That's how I like to describe this particular eye cream. Um, I use this both morning and evening after applying a serum and I am just obsessed obsessed with this eye cream. Last category is oils. Now this is the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Facial Oil. I began using facial oils a lot earlier than I have ever used them during winter. Um, my favorite recently has been Drunk Elephants. I love this oil's thickness, how it just sits over the skin without being uh, sticky or feeling as if it's suffocating my skin. This gives my skin a very healthy, luminous glow. Um, this oil is rich in antioxidants, omega-6 and 9. I like taking about three to five drops of this oil. I like to warm them up in my fingers and then I just love massaging this oil all over the face in an upward motion. Sometimes I will focus primarily here along the forehead and the jawline to help relieve stress and tension in the facial muscles. My next favorite oil of 2020 is the Peter Thomas Roth Green Relief Calming Face Oil. I used this oil a lot during the hot summer months. Um, now this is a lightweight oil with loads of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants to help calm, smooth, nourish, and moisturize the skin. If you have sensitive skin or are suffering from maybe irritation or redness, I highly, highly recommend this oil. If you have sensitive skin, redness, or irritated skin, I highly Highly recommend this oil. It's so lightweight that I tolerated this oil over my skin during the hot summer months. I use this primarily during my nighttime skincare routine, but if you have uh, maybe dry, dull, irritated skin, I am sure that your skin would soak this up very, very nicely during your daytime routine. I also filmed a video on this particular oil, so I will link her down below in case you missed it. Let me know what your favorite skincare product for the year 2020 was in the comments down below. Also, let me know if we share um, any favorites as well. I'd definitely, definitely love 
to know. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Be sure to hit that like button and also hit that notification bell if you have yet to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. So that is all I have. I will see you next time. Bye. Uh, my second favorite client, I'm sorry, my potency power, uh, C, what? I typ I typically. <laughs>